Hey everybody, welcome to Excel Video 360. I'm Nate Moore. Spoke with the group the other day who's changing practice management software and what the new vendor is promising is not necessarily what the new vendor is delivering. They need some help pulling data to get the reports they're used to seeing. When you've got a similar issue with your software and you want to see reports, I'd love to help you. We're back on a raise today. Remember we did the third next appointment and we tried to find when the next available appointment was using small. We got small to work up here and here by putting an array in and then telling it, hey, I want the second next available, the third next available, the first next available, stuff like that. What if we want the third next available new appointment? See, I've got these different appointment types. This is a new appointment, follow-up, surgery, whatever. If I want to find the third next available new appointment slot, here's how to do it. I'm going to do equal small like we did before. But instead of putting in the array that we had last time where we just took all the dates and times, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an if statement in here. And I'm going to say if this appointment type range here, and I'm just in the habit of hitting F4 to lock that range in in case I ever had to copy this formula. If that range equals new, and I need to put new in quotes, otherwise Excel is going to go look for something, a formula called new. And I'll leave it at lowercase so you can see it's not necessarily case sensitive. I'm, I don't have to find in, capital N-E-W. N-E-W is going to work. If this range equals new, comma, what do I want to do? I want this range. I want every appointment date and time where this range is new. So again, let me lock that in with the F4 key and do a right parenthesis to end my if statement. So my array now, instead of just being this array of dates and times, I've qualified that by saying, if the appointment type's new, then give me these dates and times. Now what I need to do is do a comma and finish the small formula. There's the array. K is what number I want. I want the third next available appointment. We're going to do a right parenthesis to finish the small formula. Control, Shift, and Enter. So what do we do? June 14th at 8.15. So there's here's a new appointment there. That one's after June 14th. That one doesn't count. There's one that's before. That's the 19th. There's two that's before the 19th, 19th. They work. So what we're doing, rather than just have an ordinary array there, B3 to B22, we're saying only give me B3 to B22 if the appointment type in C3 to C22 is new. See how that makes it easier, I mean, easier maybe a little strong, but you see how it makes it possible to qualify the array to look for things. I'm going to show you one more thing, one, one more way to replicate what we did up here. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to select all three cells and I'm just going to replicate what I did up here. I'm not worried about a new appointment. What I want to do is all three formulas at once in an array. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say equals small to get the smallest appointment. What's my array? It's this range here. We'll do a four to lock that in, comma. And now what we're going to do a little bit differently, we're going to throw an array in for K. Well, how am I going to do that? I've got to put, when I'm using constants, remember, I have to put this bracket in. One, semicolon two, semicolon three. I'm going to do the bracket again. And then I have to do a parenthesis to finish the small formula. So what's my formula doing? B3 to B22, same date range. I'm not worried about new. All I'm doing is grabbing these dates. And I'm putting the array over here. One, semicolon two, semicolon three. Now we're going to do control shift enter, and that will fill in these three appointments all at once. Give me the same answers that I had up here by doing three separate formulas. Two different ways to use arrays in Excel Video 360. Here we qualified the array in the first part of the small formula. Here we added constants to the array in the second part of the Excel formula. We're going to get Fancier than that, and we're going to do it next time. Thanks for watching.